A hero is somebody who does something extraordinary and rises to the challenge, much like the creator of this anime did in real life. Who he is. Kazuo Takahashi, also known as Kazuki Takahashi, was a manga artist from Japan. His first serial manga was released in 1986. He is best known as the creator of the weekly Shonen Jump series Yu-Gi-Oh, which ran from 1986 to 2004. The manga gave rise to the well-known trading card game of the same name, which now holds the Guinness World Record for being the most widely sold trading card game. What he created Yu-Gi-Oh! was first published in Weekly Shonen Jump in 1996 under the pen name Kazuki Takahashi, where it was serialized until 2004. More than 40 million copies of the series have been sold due to its enormous popularity. The series has also been adapted for a variety of media, most notably an anime television show and a trading card game created by Konami, which as of 2011 has sold more than 25.1 billion cards, and now holds the Guinness World Record for the best-selling trading card game ever. After the original manga's run ended, Takahashi remained in charge of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. His single-issue manga, Drump, was published in Weekly Shonen Jump in 2013. Takahashi was given the Ink Pot Award by Comic-Con International in 2015 for his excellent work in the comics industry. The comic, a limited series by Takahashi, was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump in 2018. For the Marvel X Shonen Jump plus Super Collaboration, Takahashi also penned the two-part manga series Secret Reverse, which was made available on Shonen Jump Plus in September 2019. How he tragically died On July 6, Takahashi's six-year-old body was found drifting off the Nago shore. The acclaimed manga artist was discovered face down and wearing snorkeling gear. The Japan Coast Guard's autopsy report determined that Takahashi drowned to death. Stars and Stripes, the official newspaper of the US military, reported on Tuesday that the artist died a hero while attempting to help people who were caught in riptides at a well-known diving location in Okinawa. Diver teacher U.S. Army Major Robert Bergo was with his students in Mermaid's Grotto on, on July 4th. A 39-year-old American soldier and an 11-year-old girl were reportedly caught in a whirlpool, approximately 100 yards from shore, when Bergo reportedly overheard a Japanese mother asking for assistance for them. Bergo recounted, I grabbed mom and I grabbed the girl and I simply kicked for all life. With Bergo and his people's help, the soldier was able to return to land. Takahashi apparently tried to assist in the rescue at one point by diving into the ocean. Although Takahashi was never seen by Burko entering the water, his students claimed to have caught a glimpse of him trying to assist before he vanished in the waves. Two days following the incident, the body of Takahashi was found. A representative for the Japan Coast Guard said that his rental automobile was also discovered in Mermaid's Grotto. According to Burko, he is a hero. He lost his life while attempting to save another. How his work will get a renewed resurgence in popularity Retro Yu-Gi-Oh! forums have been played for close to a decade at a local game shop and online simulators like Dueling Book and YGO Pro, so they are by no means a recent craze. However, a number of factors have contributed to the recent rise in popularity of various formats. Many people have grown impatient with the pace of the current format since the inclusion of several gameplay concepts, including Syncho, XYZ, Pendulum, and Link Summoning. Fans have nostalgically recalled times when Yu-Gi-Oh! entailed back-and-forth gameplay when cards were slightly more balanced and when cards had several negative effects or multiple summoning effects. Also, the death of Kazuki Takahashi has impacted the whole anime fanbase. Taking that into consideration, it's just a matter of time that we'll see a resurgence in his work, but it will be great to see who will take the mantle after his death. Heroes are created by the path they take, rather than the gifts they are given. Someone who has sacrificed their life for a greater case than himself is a hero. Kazuki Takahashi demonstrated the highest level of bravery, we must never forget what he did. This shows that anyone can be a hero, and that heroes aren't just seen in anime. R.I.P. Hero. See you in the next video.